Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. Here we are in February and it's time to sell all our pellets. Something like 100 litres, 2,000 litres. But first of all we're going to sell some more eggs. We're selling bits of here overnight, sell some eggs here and there. And some more flour I think we did. I'll show you the tally in a sec. But the reason is to get more abilities to spawn pellets. So that's why we're going to sell these. Right now, put them in storage or something, but you know what? Just quickly sell them. A bit of extra cash in. That's a thousand pounds. And uh, whatever the rest that'll get. And you know what? We'll sell this bit of lime here, why not? I doubt we're going to profit, so. I sure well okay alright technically we do. How much? Actually she no, actually free they're three, three fifty brand new, so three twenty five. Ah, was that even a full bag huh? <laughs> I obviously have no idea, but we need to keep the thumbs up well keep the thumbs up one at least, because the pellets have already peaked. I was like, I thought, yeah, go see, get up about eight. And then having a look here, starting to go down. That was at three, three, four, seventy at eight o'clock, or just before eight, whatever it was when I last checked. So, oh yeah, I've got a lot of pads to sell. Thankfully, these pellets are actually liftable, so we can lift them on to the trailer and all that. Okay, we're just making a bit more space, that's fine. I like that, it's like, that's how easy to move it is, so... Okay, let's see my pellets. So we've got... 30 left in there. And 81 in there, so that is... 100, 119... Plus like, 75... 75 pads here, so oh, yeah, this is gonna be about three trips of getting this all done. And we're gonna use this one. For, ooh, didn't mean to do that. Use this first of all. Get them on. Alright, maybe a slight issue here. Try thinking how to get these on. If we do something like that, just get them on, on, turn, and then put down something like that. Obviously, you'd be quicker using the loader, so you know what? We may actually go with that actually in the end of it. Come on. There we go. Get you forward. That's three down, and another 70 odd to go. So yeah, we're at 309,200. So... It's going to go up by... What's say Something like 600 grand this is going to go up by. If I had to guess right now... Yeah, something like that, 600 grand, so... I'm going to try this, you know what, heck it. Just lift them. And put them on. And whatever falls over, we can stream up and tie up. There we go. That's another nine. So yeah, this is going to require a bit of work. I'm going to do like three loads of these, so... Best way to get it all done is in a time lapse. I'll get the first load on. Come back for when we sell our first bit. And then we'll do the rest straight from there, I think. Because, oh yes, this is going to be a bit of a doozy.
we go, it is the first zone of 70 pass and we did transfer everything over to this trailer, so let's see how much money we can get for the first zone. Yes, pets are accepted here. Just gonna see how much we can get in total. Could be a bit of a laggy mess, I think. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be a few. There we go, get rest on. to do that. Two hundred and thirty-eight grand. Wow. Ooh, that is a bit of cash there. Two three seven. Two hundred and forty grand so double that and then a bit extra so oh boy that's gonna be quite a bit of money and so if we look at our finances so 248 we got there 50 grand we got overnight from the products we sold also we did a bit of maintenance and repairing our equipment so that's why you got the 14 grand of vehicle running costs so overall I'm happy, so let's get those number two on. I would do it over a time lapse, sorry, being what, two bit time lapse or something at 150, so get a second load on, and I'll show you folks of pretty much doing the same thing again. And another 70,000 of these services here, and a bit of a near stack. Means it for the thumbnail in that. So let's go and sell these. Let's see how much money we can get from all these pallets. Two twenty one. Price has slightly gone down, so maybe a couple of grand less. Yeah, a little bit less, but not too bad. And um, what we remember is still over here. Let's go and fix and repaint this. I bought it you second hand, so. Yeah, we got the John Deere one. Despite all the issues we had in the last episode with it, yeah, I think it'd be alright. So, now, let's go get a final dude on with maybe some extra packs of goodies. Depends on what we've got. Clothes, still got like 19,000 litres, and they're not due to peak around April, May time, around the Instagram mark. So yeah, that's going to be what, ooh, another 300 grand there in clothes alone, so that really allows me to set things up for what I want to do. So yep, I'll get the rest of it up and then we'll go from there. And there we go, that's pretty much everything, and just there's one more pallet of oils, that canola or sunflower. That's another canola oil, thank you very much. Now we'll just go on to the top of this nice little cake. So, yeah, something like that. A bit more of an lopsided cake this one compared to, ooh, compared to the last zones, but. Nearly. So, yeah, we've got 5,000 euros of canola oil, 49,000 euros of pellets, 9,000 euros of sunflower, no flour. 2,000 litres of bread and 1,000 litres of butter. And yeah, it's quite tipsy now. Because everything's more towards the 
fifth wheel diamond and the actual lorry rather than the three wheels on the back. If you sort of spread out a bit longer, just go because it literally like half the half the height in this. It's gonna go all the way to the back, be a lot more stable, but uh, that's how I do it sometimes, it's what it is, but still should expect well, I don't know maybe another 175 grand out of this. Which I think 49,000 years now, so 3400, 3500, 150, yeah, it's gonna be 175. So, yeah, all in all, so possibly around 190 ish, no, about 200. 10. Yeah, I'll say 210. If I don't tip this thing over because it's quite loose onto the right hand side, so let's get turned around and sold. Turn it around and hopefully it doesn't tip because it's freaking me out, so. Yes, pets are except to the air game. Don't lie to me. Are we actually going to even hit a million for the first time? I think we are. Hundred sixty-five. Oh boy, we actually may fucking hit a million. Nope. Come on. Sell you damn thing. Yes, that's a million. One million and twenty three thousand. Nice. Three quarters of a million just in products alone. And I was eating. Well, we'll still hit the million mark without sending the... Oh, what's it? For a spreader, but... Boy. So in all, pellets and everything else is about 700 grand, plus whatever we've got overnight. That's not a bad hole. Now, the time's back up to time six, because I have to worry about the price now, pellets, so... Leaves us good options for the combine. Get pretty much any combine we want. But do we get any combine we want? I'll do this whole other one, we are going to get a bigger one, but. I do one more than and think about it. February. For things like grapes and olives, that's next month. Do we even dare? How much is the harvest serves now for the grapes? Quarter of a mil, alright. Plus 16 grand. So that's 46 grand there. Gonna need a small mulcher, 2 meter. I think that just about to do it, but it goes onto the sides. Something like that. And then what else do we need? A subsoyer, I think it is, so where's where's one two? So something like that. Tempted. Anyways, one thing we've got to do first of all is convert all these sugar beet to sugar cut. There we go. Just move out of the way. 
play. But now we need to start planting the corn in this field over here. And how is that doing? Really well. And I think it is issue a one to one, so that's good. But yep. Yeah. Now it's a new farming year. And I'll give our equipment a bit of a clean. Because these are absolutely filthy. Occasionally I do wash them from time to time. Like in between episodes and now when I got a bit of time to kill. But yep, yeah, they've just been serviced. The fence could do with a new paint job, but yeah, well, not too worried about the paint yet. I think it is a workhorse, so. Get our plans for cleans. Dirt, I think that's dirt on those, so there we go. Get right into the bottom of it, especially in between all the joints. Yeah, so now I'm a bit far away. Keys is pretty much fine. One of a meter, there we go. Like that. Oh well. That's fine. But now we need to focus on the planting of cotton. Yep, cotton February, just double check it. And this shouldn't take too long. Especially with our new field here. Bit of spot spraying will need to be applied with the fertilizer, so. Yeah, I'll do that afterwards. Just let that baby unfold. And there we go, we are drilling cotton. Yeah, it's probably a top up, but it'll definitely need a top up when we do the mega field of oats in April. Jeez. So, quite a bit of work ahead of us. Yeah, there's going to be a buckload of work. But you know what? It's going to be worth it in the end, so. We'll get a ton of straw we need for the cows and TMR. Get enough wheat to feed the chickens for a couple of years, perhaps. Definitely seems on buying any more grains. But also, I'm looking at expanding our production, so yeah, we'll have a look at that because I do want to get our farm supply production. It's nice, it's cheap, and so there's a bit of everything to do. You know what? I'm not going to bother about that. I'm waiting for these trees to grow as well because some of those do need trees urgently. And I do mean urgently, so I think if we do buy plot, what was it, 55? Next to 56, we'll get a lot of these trees cut down and moved over to the sawmills. Because if you have a look here, yeah, what's that? 2,000 years of wood left, so it needs to be done today. Yeah, well, I could do that later on in the episode. Just buy a plot of land, to get trees over, and then go from there afterwards on that front. But, anyways, I'm going to enjoy doing this, so just kick back, relax, get the cotton in, and then we'll get the roller on the way.
Phil's been furloughed with the bit that we plowed up when we were she's supposed to go over together. I thought it was a bit more that needed doing, but no, actually it was just a little strip over there, so spent a bit of extra fertilizer, but oh well. So what's that's over there? We are over here, got everything ready. Cause we do need some that do need some timber for the logs, so we'll go and get that. And yeah, a lot of these are small trees, but I'll try to get some of these big ones first of all. Need to press a horn there. There we go. Just grab you out, or just do that. Whatever I'll do. So, line that up. Eight new limbs. That should do us nicely. Two. I will get a third one there, so there we go. But yeah, I think the small ones we could put on the trader, and the big ones we may haul over or lift them and put them on the trader. I didn't reconfigure the trader. Yeah, I didn't reconfigure the trader so it has the log forks on it, so. Let's get it tipped over. You know what? Let's, let's clear a bit of space out of here first of all. There we go. Chop that down. Chop that down. There we go. Let's get rid of the bits we don't need. There's one bit there we don't need, but you know what? Get a tree on, get a chainsaw, and get rid of it. So now it's just case of lining everything up. Like so, that's one. And this is tree number two. But yeah, this is going to be crucial for us for our timber work because. Yeah, sawmills run out, and I do want to get that mini sawmill back up and running. So, yeah, most of these trees will go into the main sawmill to make the bulk of the planks for us, but we do need to remember, still need to top up the main sawmill as well, so. There we go, put you down. So you can just try getting it all straightened out. I don't know what I'll do. Is there enough space for us? So let's bring that out. Chop these down. trees. Boom. He's half king to deal with, so... I don't think we'll do too much for now. We'll do this one and one more for the main sawmill. And then we'll get the rest loaded up. And take over to sawmill, so... There we go. We'll only one log out of that. Get that big one there right in front of us, so just go grab you. I think you do need to think about planting more trees as well, so we're not doing this episode or in the next episode whilst we are doing the mega oot. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a worse so just be thinking about it. And we may need to get another cedar slash planter. Just because of the size of it, like, we're going to get them going one. Ooh, great demand that maple syrup, so... Have a look at that in a sec. You know what? One more. 
definitely one more, and I'll try to find one more big one. Like this one over here, is it? Yeah, that one there. So straight ahead and right. There we go. Yeah, I was hoping for a great mouth for these pellets, but yeah, I've got so much money about it. I had over a million, so yeah, may hit a million again from time to time, but for the combine, yeah, I've been thinking about it, and I want to get like the biggest header possible for the combine, so okay, I don't have the mod enabled, which is John Deere X9, so we get that, or do we go with, because that's 60,200, and Molly 1 is like 19,000 litres or something like that, 10 point mate, you know what, let's go with the Colossus Exion I think, Colossus Exion or the New Holland, something a bit different. No customization whatsoever on that. This, you get a ton of it, so. Just get a quick. Cost of everything. 440. So 530 grand, so. Yeah, that makes sense. And then when you think about the grape stuff, we're going to do that, we need dedicated plot land for that as well. Get all that working done. And get it done right as well. So it may require some more mods to be enabled that I've used before, like on Adult Chauvin and that, so... But anyways, let's get this over up. I doubt it will take us too long. And we'll see how much that fills up the sawmill. Finish out that little bit there. But more importantly, we've got the timber. And we yeah, did get an extra couple of trees down in time up, so I thought, eh, what's we'll harming a few more logs? So, and yeah, so that is no harm. So, there we go. A bit of clipping there. And we're back up to 22,000 a year, so. We've already seen me do a bit of timber, so what I'm going to do is get the rest of that area cleared up, get those small logs chopped onto here, and then we'll take them over to the other sawmill. But I'll do that off camera, so yep, get it done, and I'll see you in just a second. And there we go, some more logs, and that is about over half that done, I'd say about 60 to 70% of that done. And these are going straight into the mini sawmill. And let's get some planks and furniture from that. Oh yeah, actually, let's see how much furniture and all those other things we've been making. So, let's go and have a look. Head over here. Try 
trees are coming along okay. Yeah, I'm so interested to see how much we got in total, so... Ooh. A bit of spring feedback there. So we'll have a look. That uh, is 10,000 litres. So planks, they will distribute. And we'll get about 1,000 litres of furniture a month. Also water over here. So look at that fifth pile that's just spawned up, so let's get who's yanked over. Actually, you know what? Let's get Zood on. Because I want to sell some maple syrup, so. Because it's about 3 grand per 1,000 litres at the moment, so. Why not a bit more extra cash for us, so. Get these. And what else? See your maple syrup? 3 grand at the maple syrup sell point. Along with. The flowers, they're doing alright at the moment. They're at their peak. Manure. Oh, sorry. 129 at the farm shop. Was it really worth doing? My, to be honest, my spot's just right over our fields, actually, so. Hey, stroll. Well, I do have a bit of slidage to sell in the. Fermenter, so we can sell that. 650,000 years of sugar beet cup. Ooh, barley. Oh, what about eggs? How are they looking at? Crap, pretty much. Milk's okay. So if we get any milk, so milk silage, these, and whatever it was I said we was going to do. Maple syrup, that was it. So, yeah, go grab all those, get us sewed up, and we'll see how much money we can make. Again, from these little bits. I doubt it's going to be like the three quarters of a million we got earlier on, but it's going to be a decent chunk, for sure. So I doubt we'll do any pancakes on this series, or at least at the moment, so... My swell set went well, sir. Very worthwhile. like that here we go so 10,000 litres of maple syrup that's gonna be 30 grand along with a pan of bread butter a couple of egg crates as well as 5,000 litres of flour so should be a decent hole for us so we need to turn around and go into the cell what 
the maple syrup cell point. It's going to be a bit difficult where it's quite, it's a bit further back, so we may not get all of it. I think. Ah, uh, so what? So be it. Finally, that's another grand. And what was that? To even pay attention on that, so. Finances. Yeah, I can't remember about 70 grand or all that was. Not too bad. And now let's grab one new side edge to sell. Just to top up that money pulse a little bit more. I did say we weren't doing silage, but in terms of selling, but I say we'll limit ourselves so. And we haven't sold silage for a fair while, so. So we're going to get us reconfigured and then set up but to silage. One and over the silage, uh, we should just get over three grand for that. But yeah, so plan for the next episode is get the oats planted, start doing some work on production chains over there, may finish that area over there up, not too sure yet. All that reminds me, we need to reactivate that production, and we did sell the five grand for that, roughly as I expected. So the lime crusher thing production because we don't need any more. So okay, so checking that's one. And besides from that, we are smashing things. It is coming along really well. Cows, fair bit of milk in that at the moment. But anyway, so that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.